Group B Streptococcus is a bacteria that can live harmlessly in your back passage or in your vagina and one in three women will have this bacteria during their pregnancy at any one time. It causes problems when the mother has the bacteria and passes it on to the baby during birth. It can cause meningitis and sepsis and it's one of the leading causes of death in newborn babies actually in the world. The good thing is that not everybody who has carried this bug will necessarily get ill or transfer to their babies and we're really not quite sure yet what exactly determines whether a woman who carries the uh, infection with group e strep will eventually pass it on to their babies. However, that's a real big problem because we don't really know how to prevent it if we don't know who's going to pass on and who isn't. I had a natural delivery, everything seemed perfect. We were told by the midwives that we could go home and I was really delighted. Uh, I just had a lovely baby boy Go, about to go home and I noticed something terribly was wrong. He had lots of people around him. I like trying to find out what exactly was wrong. Um, it was a very frightening experience. It's very difficult to spot these babies because the infection takes place very early after the baby has been born in the majority of cases. And usually it's subtle things like a little bit of a temperature, a bit of irritability and poor feeding, which for a new mother with a new baby are very difficult signs to spot. One of the ways to prevent group B streptococcal disease is to offer mother screening in pregnancy, but there are several problems with that, so it's really important that we develop other strategies. There's a huge number of women that are not offered the screening anyway. But the major problem with that screening is actually a negative test at that one time point doesn't mean that you won't then go on to be colonised with group B streptococcus subsequently in your pregnancy. So we need to think about other things that we can do to prevent the mothers from becoming colonised so they can't pass group B streptococcus to their babies. We want to help design a vaccine that will prevent any woman who carries group B strep from passing the infection on to her baby. And in order to do that, we need to know exactly what types of group B strep are carried. And that's why we're doing studies worldwide to try and figure out which particular strains are important for babies getting sick with group B strep. So we've done quite some work here in the Center of International Child Health at Imperial to find out, particularly in West Africa, which types of group B strep are carried by women and which types are then transferred onto their babies. We've been working on trying to find out what are the best tests to use to predict how we can design a vaccine that reaches a threshold of protection that the women won't pass on the bacteria to their babies. As you can see, um, Rory now has made a miraculously recovered really well and um, he is so boisterous, healthy and really fun-loving little man who, as you can see, is desperate to be on the move all the time.